Hi friends, today's lesson is module four, lesson 17. We're gonna continue our journey of learning the different parts to eight, being able to add to eight quickly. Four and four makes eight, six and two makes eight, seven and one makes eight, eight and zero makes eight. There's lots of different combinations and every time those numbers get together, they make eight. Objective, solve put together with total unknown word problems to eight using objects and drawings. Today to start our lesson, I wanna show you a game you can play at home with your materials. So you're gonna have a number bond either on your whiteboard or on a piece of paper. And if you have a dice, maybe in a board game or one that um, you got from school, you can roll that dice and the number is one. So the first partner is going to put one in the part. Then you're gonna have a brother, sister, someone else playing the game with you, or you can roll again to play. Roll the dice again, four. We're gonna put four cubes in this other number bond part. And then we're going to go ahead and figure out how many we have all together. Try to do it quickly. Good, four and one makes five. This is a fun game that you can play at home to practice your number pairs to any number that you wish. Make sure you have that many objects to get started uh, on playing. Great job. All right, so here's another game that you can play. If you don't have cubes and um, you don't have a dice, you can just play with your fingers um, or just the numerals. So our total is five, and we need to figure out what numbers will match up to make five. Let's start with the number three. If I show you three, how many more to make five? Two, great job. Three, let's say our sentence, three and two makes five. Great job. You can also grow your brain by writing that sentence at home. Three plus two equals five. Well done, friends. All right, let's take a look at the numbers that we have left and see if they add up to five. Four, add one more, makes five. Great job. Four plus one equals five. You can play this game with a higher number in your hole to get your brain growing. Great job. All right, Melanie is creating designs with shapes. She has five triangles. See if you can make a triangle with your fingers with me. Good job. Triangles have three corners. Let's see if we can draw one. One. Let's count our corners. One, two, three. Great job. All right, so she has five triangles. So go ahead and draw a couple more and let's count and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Make sure you line up your triangles and draw them just like this so that there's a nice line of five. Now she has two circles. One, two. How many shapes does she have all together? And let's write our number sentence. How many triangles? Five. How many circles? Two. How many all together? Use your picture, use your fingers, use your brain to add quickly. Seven, great job. All right, again with our shapes, we wanna make sure that we remember our shapes and remember the attributes that they have. So how many corners does a triangle have? Three. How many corners does a circle have? Zero, good. What kind of lines does a circle have? Are the lines curved or are the lines straight? Circles have curved lines, great job. Triangles have 
straight lines. Good. All right, let's put out three of our circles. Mm hmm And we're going to add our triangles. And let's figure out the unknown. How many do we have all together? Three plus three equals six. Good. And make sure to box that unknown so you remember what your answer was. Six shapes all together. Three and three makes six. Good job, friends. All right, we're gonna do some robins. I'm gonna get out my blue marker. Again, we're gonna draw some circles to represent these birds because it's math class. So let's pretend that there are six robins in the tree. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more robins were flying. How many robins are there all together? Let's start with how many were in the tree. Count them up. Six. How many are flying? Two. And how many robins do we have all together? Good. If you remember, six and two always come together and make eight. You can also count on. We have six in the tree, so say it with me. Say six, seven, eight. Great job. Make sure you start with six. Don't start back at one. We know that there's six in the tree. Six, seven, eight. Great job. One more Robin problem. Let me get my blue marker out again. I'm gonna go for a deeper blue this time. All right, now there are three robins in the air and five on the ground. Let's write our sentence. How many are in the air? Three. How many are on the ground? Five. Great job. How many are there all together? Eight. Some of you are quick. You knew already that three and five comes together and makes eight. Great job, friends, remembering your number pairs to eight. All right, let's go ahead and do um, just the robot one to practice writing our sentence forward and backwards. So how many small robots do we have? One. How many big robots do we have? Five. How many do we have all together? Six. Great job. Now we're gonna reverse that sentence. Here we notice that we've got the hole over here with our equal sign. It's all by itself. So we're gonna flip this number sentence to write it another way. Six is the same as one and five. Great job, friends. All right, our last problem with some trees. Go ahead and count up the palm trees for me. Five, good. Count up the apple trees for me. Three apple trees. And how many trees all together? Eight, good. And let's flip that sentence and write it a different way to represent the same thing. Eight is the same as five and three. Well done, friends. Thanks for joining me.